All right, so I'm finally getting around to trying just straight up arch by itself. Um, I do have a setup to the desktop environment. Let's see if that actually works. So um, I've gone through all of the configurations here. I'm gonna hit install. So every one of these plus symbols uh, denotes something that I've changed beyond the uh, the stock. And so I've got my configuration here. Uh, the user, okay, yes, we will, we will go ahead and make this magic happen. Three, two, one, boom. All right. So it's now going to use the internet to fetch um, the uh, various libraries and packages, whatever that I've chosen. And uh, we're going to be off to the races here. So if everything works as planned, I should have a system, uh, an Arch distribution on this older Dell XPS 9560. Has one terabyte NVMe storage and 16 gigs of RAM. It's going to be perfect for this. Now, I am running an Arch based Linux distribution on this Steam Deck, and I'm no longer using the Steam OS, but instead something called Catchy OS. The reason for that is because I want to be able to use the this is a portable workstation as well, especially now that I know that I can drive three monitors with an Arch-based Linux distribution, and it works fine with the Steam Deck. And uh, there's a little bit of finagling with the lack of USB ports on this device here, but I do have this device with a hub on the back of it. So I do have the ability to add another monitor um, and have other peripherals. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> I do grass. So I'm waiting for this to complete. I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, waiting for keyring sync, whatever that is. So <clears throat> I suspect that. I don't know what that is. So anyway, um, <clears throat> the plan is I'm going to probably put together my own Linux distribution called Mayetta Linux. May, uh basically named after myself because it is going to be my configuration and anybody else is welcome to use it. So I might as well distribute a version of Linux that has all of the uh, the dev stuff ready to go so I can quickly reinstall on the fly and whatever machines I have. Uh, but anyway, I do have Fedora on this machine right now with KDE Plasma Desktop. Uh, I switched over to Linux full-time last year uh let's see last year beginning of last towards the beginning of last year i switched away from windows uh, i was around the time that windows started announcing they had plans to start integrating more ai stuff into the operating system and i was like ah hell no um i i really want all of my resources you know to be devoted to you know the stuff that i do but i also don't want snooping on my stuff so i i just it just creeps me out right so I decided it's finally time just to move to Linux, and there's so many different options with various distributions of Linux, so uh, you're bound to find something you're going to like, and uh, they call that distro hopping. But anyway, I've been a Linux user for uh, web servers and other types of servers for, well, since the 90s. It's just I've never really used it as a desktop environment for really anything, and I think it's time, right? It's time to move to Linux. Uh, I've had plenty of years working with Windows. I've used Macs. And, uh, you know, generally speaking, they've done, you know, they've served me well. But Linux is the way to go. It really is. Uh, to get this monitor, though, working, I need Arch Linux because the drivers actually work with Arch Linux. There's an EVDI driver and a DisplayLink driver. And once I get that... Arch Linux or Arch based Linux distribution installed, then I can run those, uh, you know, these external monitors too. But anyway, so I'm waiting for this to install. Shouldn't be that much longer. Uh, Arch Linux, from what I understand, moves pretty quick to install, as many Linux distros, uh, distros do. Uh, but anyway, I should be in business here shortly. And look at that. It just feels much faster using Linux than Windows. And be, and that's because it is. But really, you can really feel it. It's so much faster. Now, you could always get fancy and get like a graphical desktop environment that just all tricked out with animation and stuff. If 
you got good graphics, I guess go for it. But there's really no reason to unless you really like that stuff. You know, you can customize Linux to your heart's content. You can choose different, you know, uh, Windows management server. You can go with tiling displays. You can go, um, you know, with different desktop environments, different greeters. Uh, it's, it's a different world than Windows or Mac where you just don't have a choice. You have one interface and that's it. So I'm just waiting for this to install. I found some uh, pellets, you know, rifle pellets or whatever they call them, uh, BBs. Not BBs, but pellets. Uh, in my pocket. I don't want them on the ground. Where did the other one? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I had a couple of them in my pocket. Really don't want those going through the washer and dryer, so I'll put them back in the in their little bin. Oh, I'm so tired. Today's a long day. I'm not even halfway through it. Okay, so I don't want any more configuration. I just want to get right to it. So we're going to reboot for good measure. And um, we'll wait for that stuff to clear. Then I'll pull the installation media. So we pulled the fit drive. That's a 256 gig fit drive with the crack in it. I don't know why it has a crack in it. Let's see. And I'm, am I going to boot right into a greeter? I sure hope so. Please. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's uh, type in the password real quick. Am I logged in? Did I get the password right? Yes, I did. Look at that. We got Plasma KDE, KDE Plasma, and we are in. Holy smokes. Who said Arch Linux was hard? I'm sure it was at one time. I've heard stories. Look at that. We're up and running. Boy, this feels fast. And this is older hardware. Uh, so I'm disconnected from the network right now. I'm just going to go ahead and connect, and uh, we're good to go. So in a moment later, I should be able to hop on the open internet. So let's uh, let's do that real quick. Um, welcome, Kate. No, I don't want that. I want a browser. Let's see what browser do I have. I've got internet. Oh, do I not have a, a browser built in? Let's get a browser shall we um so we're going to use the discover system oh wait what i might have to use the pac-man uh utility and uh and do it that way uh arch linux is not configured for installing apps through discover only app add-ons okay well you know it is what it is you learn as you go um, so yeah, I'm going to have to do Pacman. Uh, so let's do that. Let's uh, bring up a terminal. I see one called console here. All right. So this is where we do a sudo and we're going to do pac man. We're going to do, um, was it tag? Was it S U? No, I S I silent install. I don't know. I don't know what that means. And we're going to use uh, Brave Browser because I really like Brave. Now it's going to ask me for my uh, password. Let me uh, point you away. Now I did give my account pseudo privileges here. So, uh, Brave not, what? Okay. Um, let's do Firefox. I might not have a Okay, was that search? What is it for for uh SY? Yeah, SY. 
All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and install it. See how long that takes. I'm not used to Pac-Man. Um, just started using it like two days ago. <clears throat> Can never remember commands. All right, so we should be good. There it is. I see it right there. Let's bring it up. And we're in business. Now we have a Firefox browser. Let's go to... Um, yeah, we're good to go. Let's do, um, let's, let's see if YouTube works. All right. So we're going to go to YouTube and see how that works. Pretty responsive. Let's make sure that videos are working. We don't need any special anything to make that work. So, uh, let's go to not trending cause trending sucks. Let's go to music. I don't want to get copyright uh, struck. Let's just go to trending. It's just usually garbage. Everything on the front page of Google uh, or... Wait. Gaming? Let's see what gaming looks like. Uh, my first time playing Repo. All right, let's do that. Let's click that. There we go. Okay, videos work just fine, or at least the ads do. That's what I like about Brave. It just blocks out all these ads. Oh, come on. There it is. Playing just fine. All right. So we've confirmed that videos do work right out of the box. We got audio. Um, let's take a look, a look at uh, the system monitor. All right. So we're going to take a look at that real quick. See what our resources look like. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at that. 1.4 currently being used out of 16 gigs. Disk, we're using 54. I don't know. It feels like that's still a lot of resource usage. But CPU is not even 1% at times, up to 2.5, just idling. That's with KD Plasma going. So yeah, plenty of overhead uh, available for other things. All right, so Arch Linux is installed. And so now I can say I use Arch, by the way. All right, that has been my experience installing Arch.